So if you guys aren't aware, I've been live streaming on Twitch a ton, okay? I've been live streaming on Twitch nonstop the last few weeks because I've been trying to grow my Twitch channel, and a lot of you guys have followed me. I went from 49 followers to about 105 at the time of this recording. That's great. I appreciate it so much. We have a great time. One of the games that we live stream currently right now is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, just like everybody else, right? But we have a good time doing it, in my opinion, a little bit better. But still, it is what it is. But the reason why I'm bringing it up is because this article today is going to deal with Activision Blizzard and their fucking nonsense when it comes to this whole combating toxicity bullshit that they've been doing in their games and that they especially put in their recent Call of Duty game. They make you sign this whole like checklist. They make you check off three different boxes that you promise not to be a meanie, essentially. That's what they want you to say. They You promise not to be a meanie, but we all fucking know at the end of the day, Call of Duty lobbies will never be a safe space for all these woke idiots. Now, with that being said, Let's start off with the article here, but of course, before we do, guys, we're almost at 10,000 subscribers, okay? I, I dropped the Twitch thing for now, mentioning it in every video, because I want you guys who aren't subscribed, who watch my videos, we, I got like 50, 60% of people who watch me every day, but they aren't subscribed. I know it's annoying. Please just make an account and consider subscribing as we try to get to our goal of 10,000 subscribers. It's a goal of mine for a while now, and it's something that I, I can literally taste it. It's so attainable. It's right there, and it would mean the world to me. So anyway, let's get into the article. It says, Activision, from Bounding into Comics, link in the description. Activision announces new code of conduct in an effort to combat toxicity across various titles in the Call of Duty series. Now, the funny thing is, if you guys watch my live streams on Twitch... You'll realize real quick that nobody adheres to this bullshit. I got cursed out. <laughs> I got cursed out by so many people on Call of Duty. It is insane because I've been trying to level my shotguns and everybody and their mother hates shotguns for some reason. So I think it's pretty funny. But they curse you out all the fucking time. It is obscene. I got called all kinds of names. So very clearly, this shit does not combat toxicity. It's nonsense. It says Activision announced a new code of conduct to combat toxicity across Call of Duty titles, starting with Modern Warfare 2's open beta. As per the developer's commitment to our community, blog posts published by unspecified Call of Duty staff, Activision has committed to delivering a positive gameplay experience as the code of conduct is updated. We know addressing toxicity requires a 24-7 sustained effort since our last Call of Duty community update, our enforcement and anti-toxicity teams, why do you have something that's so, have continued to progress, including scrubbing our global player database to remove toxic, uh, toxic users, Activision explained. The company revealed that a total of 500,000 accounts have already been banned. That's insane. That is insane. That is insane to me. With an additional 300,000 accounts having been renamed since launching our automated filtering systems, further, developers added additional languages for in-game text-based chat and name creation moderation, bringing the total to 14 languages. The developer elaborated, Call of Duty employs the use of new automated technology alongside human moderation to help filter text chat and account names from offensive language. In part, due to these efforts, we have seen a more than 55% drop in the number of offensive username and clan tags reported from our players year over year in the month of August alone in Call of Duty Warzone. Oh no. Oh no, not the offensive names. Not the offensive clan tags. Oh no, what is we gonna do? It's amazing to me how people are this soft. How are people this soft? You're playing Call of Duty. If anybody knows a Call of Duty game, you know that the chat is wild. You know it's wild. You gonna go in there and complain about your feelings in a Call of Duty game? Are you fucking kidding me? Seriously? It says, we recognize battling toxicity will be an ongoing effort. We will continue to monitor our titles, address players' submitted reports, and expand our technology to combat toxic behavior. As part of this endeavor, Activision then laid out the new Call of Duty values and code of conduct. Today, we are launching a, a new unified code of conduct for the Call of Duty franchise. This effort is supported by three core values to promote a positive gaming experience for all the company dictated. And that's that whole thing I told you where you got to click the three boxes before you can actually hit play. And it seems like you got to do it all the time. It's fucking stupid. The first of these stipulations encourages players to treat everyone with respect. Activision elaborated, we do not tolerate bullying or harassment, including derogatory comments based on race, blah, 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 typical shit. 
Communication with others, whether using text or voice chat, must be free of offensive or harmful language. Hate speech and discriminatory language is offensive and unacceptable, as is harassment and threatening another player, the developer decried. So what is hate speech, though? Because hate speech just could be whatever someone feels like hate speech is. You, that's why that whole hate speech thing is just it's just a crock. It, it is it's absolutely a get out of jail free card to ban anybody who you don't agree with. That's basically all it is. The second major core value requires players to compete with integrity. <laughs> In a Call of Duty game, seriously? Competitive integrity is core to the Call of Duty experience. Progression is earned through good, clean gameplay. Cheating and griefing or other threats to fair play would not be tolerated. Well, it was never tolerated before, and yet somehow people always do it, and you don't stop them. So I'm not believing you're going to stop them now. It says, you are responsible for how your account is used. The use of cheats, including third-party software, is unacceptable. Exploiting bugs or engaging in any activity that grants an unfair advantage is considered cheating. The, com the company reminded readers to check their previous comments on their Ricochet anti-cheat software. Stay vigilant is the third and final core value in the new Code of Conduct players are encouraged to follow, which states, working together can keep the game fair and fun for all, to promote an enjoyable gameplay experience, utilizing game tools to report any incidents or inappropriate behaviors you encounter. So now, they want you to snitch on everybody else. That's what it is. They're trying to encourage people to snitch on other people that they don't like so they can just ban them and not even think twice. And they don't really care because they got your money. It's not a pay, it's not a pay service uh, aside from Warzone, you know, with the Battle Pass. So honestly, for regular Call of Duty, once they got your money for the game, they don't care. They ban you. It is what it is. You can't get your money back. It says Activision then directed players to Values webpage, reiterating much of the aforementioned uh, before and how to report players in various titles across the Call of Duty series. As part of this initiative, players will be presented and asked to acknowledge the new code of conduct in-game, beginning with Modern Warfare 2 open beta, Activision revealed, we know there's still a lot of work to do to combat toxicity, and we look forward to making progress together as a community. That shit is disgusting. It really is. It really is disgusting, because they are putting... Imagine, they say they have teams, right? I don't even think they have a big team, me personally. I don't think they have a big team. They're trying to make the team seem bigger than it is so that people who are actually offended by this, like the 0.5% who are offended by this, they could feel like the company is doing something with all this uh, press and all that. But honestly, I don't think they're doing very much, personally. I don't think they're going to do very much. And if they're banning 500,000 accounts already, that must mean that their moderation standards are not very high. That must mean that if they get even a little bit of a hint that you were, I guess, angry one day or said something or whatever, they're going to ban you right on the spot. They, they, it doesn't even seem like there's any second chances. All they need to do is get a report from you or from someone about you, and then they're going to look through it. And if they don't like what they saw, they're going to ban you and not even think twice. It is crazy to me, and it's something that Blizzard is doing and Activision is doing to try to save their public image because they have a lot of shit that they have been known to be doing and they don't like what people knowing about it essentially so they're trying to make it all go away by make it seem like they're all for the people now and they want to protect people and be inclusive and all this nonsense they don't actually mean a single word that they're saying in my opinion so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought of today's story and i'll see you guys on the next one Hypnotic out.